morning, sweetheart. You sleep well? Liza, could I... Yeah. What did you do? You really did pull your bedroom apart, didn't you? Yeah, well, a lot of good it did me. I still haven't found the right dress. What's wrong with that? That looks nice. <sighs> That's the trouble. It looks nice, and I've worn it before. I need something smashing, something absolutely knock them dead, stop them in their tracks. Smashing! Come, come. Big business dinner. Now, don't misunderstand me. I still believe it's up here that counts. However, sometimes a woman has to use all the ammunition she has. And with my board of directors, I'm pulling out the heavy artillery. Is it really that important? <laughs> Wouldn't be going through all this if it weren't. Well, you could handle it. Liza, I needed to tell you... You're that... out of school today. Come shopping with me. Oh, well, I was going to tell you, you about Jimmy, this last come night. On in. I don't know, me. It's too pale. Coffee, anyone? That's what I wanted to tell you. I told Chase that he could stay in the guest house last night. The news department needs the studio for a two-hour block of time. Two hours? No. No way. Stephanie wants that cooking show to have the rehearsal room until 10. <laughs> it's not the same thing. Oh, then take it up with her. I'm going I... to roll. But not now. Someone staged World War III in Chase Kendall's office. Don't try to tell me you don't know about it. I want to know what happened here last night. Every nauseating detail. I am waiting. Thinking of attempting to protect Chase, forget it. On threat of his job, I have a certain amount of information from the studio manager, and if the two of you do not speak up, your position here is more than precarious. Okay, well, there was a little upset, but Chase had his reason. There is no reason for trashing expensive furniture and equipment. Call it a personal crisis. Why do I have to pay for it? Why didn't he go talk to his minister? It's just some tapes and some cassettes. For which he will pay. If he dares show his face around here today, I will have a personal crisis which will make his look like a garden party. He was really very upset, Mrs. Wyatt. Yes, a uh, family problem between his brother and he. Really? I find that hard to believe. Believe it, they got into a fight. What? Here? In my studio? Oh, we'd, we'd just gone off the air. Oh, that's wonderful. That is wonderful. Parents send their children to this show because they believe it is a healthy environment. So my host stages a brawl with his brother? Is that what you're telling me? Didn't he realize what this could do to the ratings if word got out? I think he had other things on his mind. Oh, he did, did he? Well, what did they fight about? Come on, they've got a lovely relationship. I cannot imagine what those two could fight about. You seem to have developed lockjaw. That's not smart. I'm not in the mood right now. I have added up to here with personal crises and family problems. I want an answer. I want it now. Mrs. Wyatt, I'm... Oh, by here. the way, before I forget, um, your daughter called up and left you a message. When? Why didn't you have me paged? Well, she said she was in a hurry. She had to get over to the DA's office. Oh, no. Oh, no, I've, I've got to talk to her before she... All right, Chase Kendall is just going to have to wait. Uh, dare go to his office, clean it up the best way you can. I'll do it. No, you will not. I need you. Personal crisis as if he were the only one. Can you handle it? I'll be okay. Just as long as he doesn't show up. Even Chase has enough brains not to show his face around here today. I didn't think you'd mind if Chase stayed. Well, of course not. You're always welcome. You know that. Thank you. I told Jimmy the least I could do was bring you up your coffee this morning. Oh, thank you. Your guest house is a lot more comfortable than shacking out in the stables with Kentucky. How is he, by the way? I haven't heard from him. Well, if you do, tell him his old bunk mate is still screwing things up. Is that how you got this? You don't want to ruin your day by going into all the gory details. No, no. You're supposed to say, yeah, but you should have seen the other guy. <laughs> oh, the other guy is Alec. I'm sorry. I uh, hope you two patch things up. They will. They have to. Excuse me. Yes, Jimmy. Good. 
Uh, yeah, I'll be down in about 15 minutes. Thanks. The car is ready. Now, are you going to go shopping with me? Would it be okay if I didn't? Yeah, but just don't make faces if I bring home something you don't like. Okay, I promise. And you. Tell Jimmy to get you the antiseptic spray for that. No, I think it's okay. It'll be, it'll be fine. All right. Excuse me, I'm going to go change. Mm -hmm. Does it hurt very much? I've had worse. I hated to see you and Alec fight. Yeah, we've scared had, me. We've had scrapes in the past, but this one scared me, too. I didn't know whose side to be on. I still don't. You shouldn't take sides. What about Adair? Whose side is she on? I don't know. I always thought it was Alec and Adair. So did I. You love her? Sometimes love isn't enough. It's complicated, to your. You and Alec have to make up. I know you love him, Chase. I know you care about what happens to him. After what happened last night, he's on his own. It doesn't have to be that way. You can go to him and talk about it. Those days are gone. I'm not making any more excuses. Chase, you don't have to apologize. Just sit down Tiar, and talk stop. to him. I know what you're trying to do. Don't get in between Alec and me. There's a hole the size of the Grand Canyon between us. It takes a long time to build a bridge over something like that. I got to get out of here. I have a lot of apartment leads I have to follow up on. Chase. See you later. Chase! Chase, what about Alec? Give me a couple of minutes with Alec, Diane. What a pair to draw to we are. Me with the patch and you with that. Still think you should have taken the rest of the week off. No, I've been gone too long already. It's nice to know that people miss me. We were going to send you some chicken soup, but the... Stupid chicken wouldn't lay any noodles. That's very funny. Uh, look, why don't I pick you up at noon after I get off the clinic? No, I got a car coming for me. Only reason I rode in with you this morning was that I wanted to talk to you about your brother. What's like I told you, with... I have no brother. I don't want to hear that, not even as a joke. You want to know what happened? Why not? Everybody else in town knows. Like I told you while I was away, he made love to Adair. The joke was on me. Right? So, now you know. Over and out. Alex, see you later. Wait. Whatever happened, I'm sure that Chase didn't do anything to hurt you intentionally. I told you what he did. Well, he and Adair were very concerned about your disappearance. People thought you were dead. Oh, they comforted each other. Is that what you're telling me? Look, even if it was true... It was I true. I don't condone... But I think I can understand. Have you asked him to try to... I don't want to ask him anything. I don't want to be in the same room with him. Don't do this. Don't split the family apart. Not family the does not to... do what he did. Will you give me a chance to talk to him? No. Just stay out of this, Dad. This is between me and Chase. No, but it affects me as well. It affects all of us. Yeah. All right, I'll be right there. I'm sorry, they want me in the city hall. Well, I have to get back to the clinic. Leave me a number where I can reach you later. I don't want to leave things like this. Don't worry about it. Hi. Hi. You must have run into Dad. Yeah, he told me you were in here. Oh, he'll be back in a few minutes. Well, I came to see you. About last night. Oh, please, let's not start again. I feel bad for you, Alec. I'll be okay. I'm a big boy. But I feel bad for Chase, too. He can handle it. I just want you to know that I love you. Thanks. I love you, too.
Look, I better get to the clinic. I'll talk to you later, okay? All right, bye. dressing get wet. Now, Dr. Kramer wants to see you again next Tuesday. Until then, keep the arm elevated during the day and continue taking the antibiotics. Thank you, Selena. Okay. Hey, hey, sis. How's it going, Selena? Well, well, look what the wind blew in. You're hmm? mad, right? Only dogs get mad. Okay, so you're angry. Do I look angry? What do you think? Well, by the look in your eye, I'd say it's not one of your better days. Oh, you read me right. How can I work in here with all these paint cans fluttering up the office? It's only been a week. Well, you were supposed to be here at 9 o'clock. You make it at 10.45? Well, you can't expect stars to do menial work. Oh, oh, oh. Didn't you catch us on Henderson Nice at the turntable last night? Fortunately, I missed it. I had tickets to the opera. Ooh. Tori Adora, don't spit on the floor. Use the cuspidora. What do, do you, you think, think it's for? <laughs> bravo, bravo. <laughs> Start painting. You should have seen your brother dance last night. He's gonna need a new pair of shoes for the ones yeah, he wore out. I still feel that beat. <laughs> Turn that off, Cruza. This isn't a disco. Come on, Selena. Remember when you taught me how to dance? Mm -hmm. You still haven't learned. Yeah, bet you can't do this. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> I haven't got time for this nonsense. Come on. Come on, sis, get on. <laughs> Show us your moves. She's getting old, Riley. That's where the problem is. Oh, ha. Huh. I'll show you old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait a minute. I think I may have passed my prime. You? Um, never. <laughs> Come on. Forget the fancy footwork. I want to see some fancy brushwork. Mm. Hmm? This smells good. And you're not going to do anything but smell it until I see some paint on that wall? Babe, I knew you were going to be such a Simon Legree. I never would have taken this job on. If I knew what I was getting into, I would have painted it myself. <laughs> oh, no. Someone mugged my new assistant. What are you doing? My job. Why did you come in today? Last I heard, this was still my office. I wouldn't count on that after Stephanie gets through with you. Here, let me do no. that. No, I can manage. I don't want you cleaning up after me. Don't flatter yourself. I'm only following orders. Stephanie says clean, so I'm cleaning. I went a little crazy last night. You don't owe me any explanations. Don't shut me out. You're in my way. Now, dear, can we please talk? What do we have to talk about? Everything. I thought it was all said last night. Not as far as I'm concerned. I want to know why you came back. This is my home. You left three months ago because, because I had something I wanted very to live cool. my own life. The entire world does not revolve around you. Some of us rarely, if ever, give you a thought. I don't buy it. Why don't you get out of here and let me finish cleaning up? What about us? Us? There is no us. 
We had a fling. A little fun. It meant more than that. You did what you do best. And I cooperated. We both moved on. I hurt you. I've recovered very nicely, thank you. Well, I haven't. Uh, I hope you've gotten everything out of your system. Because there are just so many times I'm going to do this job. But there, there's something I still haven't said to you. And say it. I love you. Don't start, Chase. Is that all you can say? What do you expect? Are we going to spend the rest of our lives like this, ignoring each other? Can't we at least be civil? Sure. We can be civil. Would you pick up that telephone? Please? We better have the doctor take a look at this later. It'll be all right. Did you get a good look at the guys who mugged you? I wasn't mugged. Don't tell me you walked into a door. Oh, I wish I had. So what are you doing down here? I work here. He's our new volunteer. He's going to be a doctor. You're T.R.'s brother. Yeah, that's right. And you're the brother of that guy who sang on Henderson Nights. He could really lay out a song. What happened to your eye? A little misunderstanding. So how do you guys know T.R.? Oh, some friends introduced us. Yeah, I mean, she ran away? That's some shine. I heard medical school was rough, but, uh... Hello. Where do you live? Down here. You live alone? Yeah, except for the strays he takes in. Will you cool it? Like T.R.? You know how much trouble she could have been in, man? Beginning to find out. Come on, fellas. Get to work. The paint's trying to be put on that wall. Who is that guy? Ryder. I know what you're thinking, and you're wrong. He was very good to your sister. If it hadn't been for Ryder and for my brother, she wouldn't have made it. They're good kids. Well, I didn't mean to imply that they weren't. Don't ever make that mistake. Take a look at this. It's ravishing. The very latest from Paris. Do you have something else you could show us? He would have looked like a fruit salad in that. A French fruit salad. <laughs> there has to be one decent dress in Henderson. Well, don't you worry. We are going to find it. I'm sorry, dragging you in and out of stores. All don't time. be ridiculous. I'm having a wonderful Oh, now, this is you, Mrs. Santel. No. no. No? No. Perhaps something else. Perhaps. Hey, it looked fabulous in a birdcage. But not at Le Coq d'Or. Oh, Eliza, just uh, how important is this dinner? You, you haven't been terribly specific about it. Oh, well, does uh, life or death make it a little more clear? What are you talking about? What's going on? I have to convince my executive committee to vote for major funding for the prototype. Now, they already believe I don't have leadership ability. Sonny, I'm going to have to pull out every statistic, every argument I can find. I have to have the support. I need it. Well, sounds like the perfect little evening. Good luck. Thanks. I'm going to need that, too. <laughs> Oh, 
Sorry that took so long. No, go ahead, sit down, make yourself comfortable. Well, don't you have a lot of work to do? My family comes first. When you have a chance, I'd, uh, I'd like a picture of you to put on my desk. How long ago was that picture of Chase Mallet taken? Oh, Twelve years. They were 11 years old. It was the summer they spent in Oregon in camp. What an adventure that turned out to be. They, uh, they were on a hike one day, and they got separated from the other campers and, uh, and the counselors. They were missing for 24 hours. They stuck together and made it through the night all right. They're not together anymore. I was there last night. I saw them fight. I'm sorry you saw that. We have to do something about it. I know how you feel. I don't like it when they're at each other's throat either, but I can't interfere to you. Sometimes you have to. It's not right for them to keep hating each other. We've got to stop it. I wish I knew how. I do. But we're going to have to work together on it. <laughs> <laughs> 